Now, Lexus has just unveiled the 2024 Lexus GX, and I can't wait to get in and talk about this design. I don't think Rosie can wait for that either, right, Rosie? I guess I was wrong. But let's talk about this design and the new Lexus GX, which looks absolutely fantastic. So what we're going to do is, of course, talk about the front, side, and rear. And then we're going to look at the interior as well. This is a fascinating design to me. And I think it shows where Lexus might be heading in their design philosophy moving forward. Before we jump into Photoshop, let's have a look at this article from Motor One. And let's see the spec and tech of this new 2024 GX. So this is the third generation and it goes on sale early 2024. There's no pricing available yet, but the current one costs about 60 grand which is, uh, as a base price. The 2024 GX rides on the body on frame G -A G -A -F platform, thankfully, because this is a proper off-roader and it shows that in its design as well. Can't wait to jump into Photoshop and show you exactly what I mean. So the powertrain is here. Uh, you have a GX 550 to start with, and that comes with a twin turbo 3.4 liter V6 with 349 horsepower and 479 pound feet of torque connected to a 10 speed automatic. And you also have 8,000 pounds of towing capability in this thing. Now, since it is a, pro a, a uh, proper off-roader, you do have a lockable torsion limited slip center differential in all trim levels. But if you go for the over trail, you also get a rear locking diff, which I think is fantastic. Fantastic. And it comes in six trim levels. You have the premium, premium plus, luxury, luxury plus, over trail, and over trail plus. Might be a little difficult to pick the correct color for your GX 2024 model year because you have 11 to choose from from the get go. And the over, tra over trail trim comes with black accents, which I absolutely love. That's the one we're going to look at in just a minute. You also get 18 inch wheels and 33 inch tires from factory on a Lexus. That's pretty surprising. Inside you have a 12.3 inch digital uh, gauge cluster and you also have the 14 inch in in infotainment screen. I think that's the similar style that you're gonna have in the uh, Tacoma and the Tundra probably take that over into the Lexus interior as well. And as I said, the current uh, model starts at 60 grand, but we don't really know how much more. This is probably gonna cost more than the current one. This will cost. So with that said, let's jump into Photoshop and have a look at this. Beauty, I assume that this, I know this is the overtrail, but I assume it is, since it is the press photos, the overtrail plus. And what a cool design this is. It looks fantastic. I mean, there is nothing I want to change on this design. And we also have some new uh, styles from Lexus here. So focus on the front end. What I love about this design is that you can clearly see that it is a purpose-built machine, but it still has this futuristic Lexus vibe to it. It looks almost military style, mil militaristic in its styling, but at the same time, it's clearly a Lexus. I like all the horizontal and vertical lines that we have going across this entire front end. And you also have this Lexus grille here, but we have a body piece sticking up in, right into it. So, and, and look at the design of these intakes here. This is very industrial, specifically for Lexus, which tend to be a bit overstyled in some ways. So I'm glad that they had the discipline to think, okay, we're going to make maybe a G-Wagon competitor. Uh, we don't want it to be overstyled. It's going to be a pretty large vehicle. So let's dial it down a little bit while, while keeping the same style or features that we were used to seeing in Lexus. For example, this headlights here, this L-shaped headlights, very, it's, it feels pretty static to me, but that's what you want in this type of package. And then it goes down into this, uh, I think this is a fake intake right here because it looks like it's all covered up, these slots, but it looks good. This integration, this housing for the headlight itself just looks good. And then you have the black trim pieces that uh, they talked about in the article for the over trail model. And I think it actually suits this really well. I do like that we have a contrast color for the skid plate down, down, down low being silver in this aluminum skid plate that you have down here. It looks great if I were to pick between this I mean, this and the G-Wagon, I do like the G-Wagon as well, but it just has a different vibe to it. I think this f just feels more purpose-built while still 
having a lot of luxury implemented into this vehicle. And then you look at the squareness of this uh, side mirror here is basically just a, a, a square, a, a big square, fat square with some chamfers on the side. Looking absolutely stunning, this thing. Looking at it from a side view, and here we have some very cool features on this new GX. For example, I want to show you this. Very uniform in its styling, both in the front wheel well and the rear they have the exact same styling to it so there's nothing unnecessary going on in this styling which is uncommon again for lexus to be this disciplined with the styling i love the shoulder line that we have here a big chamfer that goes all the way back and then kind of goes into the roof here and and still continues into the black uh, graphic that we have inside of the roof it's just a beautiful chamfer that i would like to go and just feel and see what's going on with the line flow. You also have another chamfer taking a different direction from this corner going down and into the bumper. One interesting detail about the greenhouse here is that if you look at the colors of the greenhouse, um, usually what happens is that manufacturers like to black out the entire piece here all the way back to this point like we have in this case but Lexus decided let's do something a little bit different here and throw in the body color on the A pillar why not I, I don't think I've ever seen that before a manufacturer having the A pillar separately in the body color and then the rest of the greenhouse being black it's a new design take on a pretty common f graphic features on, on, on other cars and I like that Lexus are starting to experiment a little bit with their uh, design language I also like that we have the big plastic cladding reaching pretty far up here on the side it makes it look um, a lot more nimble and of course reduces the overall uh, weight of the volumes of this car looking fantastic now looking at the rear end this is where I had a little bit of what's going on in the rear when I saw this you know the initial impression that you get specifically with this chamfer that goes around it or this housing for the uh, for the rear graphics but as I've looked at this more and looked at the videos of this thing again I think this just suits this type of vehicle and again we're coming back to the military style of, of design that's implemented in this uh, truck even in the rear end one thing that I would like to do though here you see that we have the, the wiper and I think everything else is so clean in the back here so why not put the wiper in here so it's mounted underneath this spoiler if it's too small just make it a little a, just a little bigger like this so we can house it underneath there and clean the the rear end up even more but other than that I think it looks absolutely fantastic this looks like maybe the reverse lights here then you have this big LED yes it is a full-size light bar coming back in all its glory here in the in the GX but I think it looks great in this design and it actually suits Lexus to have a light bar because I think they've had it now for a while and down low we don't have any cutouts for the exhaust here for example instead you can see that the exhaust sticks out right here at the very bottom in black hiding underneath there and I think that looks good it's no nothing crazy going on there at all I do like that we have the same uh, body separation in the colors here that we have in the front end with the skid plate coming back with the silver piece in the rear and it looks like you have a full spare size tire mounted right here underneath let's make a proper ellipse here so you can see what I'm talking about underneath here you have the full size tire and these tire wheels and tires 33 is from factory from Lexus I love that and that means that they are serious about portray this as a proper off-roader with the eight, uh, 18 inch wheels and the 33 inch tall tires They're looking fantastic I probably would not go with 35s on this I think 30, 33s fit the wheel well perfectly in this case it just looks w good with the proportions last but not least let's have a look at this interior and th th this is the thing about the GX I love everything about this car even the interior with the new 12.3 inch uh, gauge cluster but look at how deep inside this cave this uh, gauge cluster sits you're not gonna have any problems whatsoever with any sort of glare or anything because you, this has a huge house for it a mansion built around it and then it sits deep dwelling in this well down here and you also have the st uh, start and stop button located up at top in the top right corner interesting location for that here you have the 14 inch new infotainment screen which also looks pretty well integrated in the overall design i don't know let me know what you think i think it's it suits this interior to be this horizontal and squarish even in the past it goes into the passenger side here yes we do have a little bit of curvatures in this styling here so the interior designers could have a little bit of fun 
uh, stylizing this thing. But I, I'm a huge fan of the integration of uh, the gauge cluster and how the vents stick up or the dash stick up all the way to this section and doesn't really have any sort of connection with the door design here. Again, coming back to that military style, you can see that better here, I think, in the passenger side. Let's see what we got here in the middle. You, it looks like this is the volume knob right here, the black one. This is probably the drive mode select. And I'm not ex entirely sure what these buttons are for. It's too grainy. I can't see. It's too pixelated. And then you have, of course, the regular gear shifter here with the settings for that on the side. And you see what gear you're in. Down here, you have the selector for the locking differentials. You can see that in these logos. And I assume you also select four wheel high or four wheel low in with that little knob that you have there you have two usb c's as you can see looking good and you have a slot slider here which i assume will house two cup holders overall a fantastic design by lexus they also introduced another big their biggest suv the tx and i think that looks great as well but it has a completely different philosophy than the gx when it comes to the purpose of the vehicle i'm gonna make a video on that as well here on the channel let me know what you think about this are you which one would you pick this or the g-wagon that is a big question personally i'm gonna go with this and specifically the over trail trim level and maybe even in this color i think it looks fantastic let me know which one you would pick in the comments below